Well, let's talk about the first videotape recorders that were introduced. I think Ampex. Correct. Uh, do the you Ampex, recall them? Yes, the Ampex 1000A. Um, it was a. It, it came in one day in this big crate, and it was huge. I mean, not only the machine itself, but the associated racks of electronic equipment, all powered by electron tubes, not transistors in those days. And we got those things in, and they said, well, you guys start checking them out and read the instruction manuals and try to figure out how to get them working and see what you can do with them. Well, I thought that was great because I was getting tired of doing the same old film work day after day. So I got, uh, we hooked up one of them, got it all set up, and, ch and the engineers checked it out for me, and I put some tape on it, and I recorded it, uh, an image in black and white, played it back about five seconds later, and I said, wow, look at that. Isn't that great? Did everyone in the building come running to see what it looked like? Yeah, a lot of people says, wow, look at these things, you know, it's going to do away with film forever. And I said, well, we'll see about that. You know, we not, don't know that for sure. But we got two of those in to begin with. And then uh, they started building, RCA started building their own version. And uh, it was a direct competitor for the Ampex machines. Um, I kind of like the Ampex machines because they were designed on what we'd call a flat bed, a table basis. The RCAs, on the other hand, were vertically mounted, one reel above the other, and they were a little more difficult to edit with because you had to hook the splicer, the videotape splicer, onto the machine itself and create a little table, and it was very difficult to go underneath and get the film, the tape, and, uh, and, and move it around and bring it, join the two ends together. So I much preferred the Ampex for editing. And that came in in, I believe, 1956. Correct. Videotape mm. came in in 1956, and, uh, and it prolifer pro proliferated very quickly um, because uh, it's funny. I think someone had mentioned in an article that they expected that they would uh, manufacture about 15 of these machines, and that would be the end of it. Uh, I think in 1965, they had already built five to 6,000 of these machines worldwide. So, uh, you know, people underestimated the potential of this new uh, device.